joining me for today's reflective art vlog. month I took the decision to take a short break from commissions to focus on some of my own original paintings. This was a lovely opportunity to reconnect with all of the things I love so much about being an artist. Using smaller canvases was a lot less intimidating than trying to complete a huge project. The 5 by 7 inch canvases were some of my favourite throughout this month. Most of my inspiration for these paintings came from being outdoors and I started out with a small squirrel painting. You can see the whole time lapse of this in my previous video if you want to check that out. This project has encouraged me to take a lot more photos and video footage of my surroundings, which is something I think I was neglecting to do a little bit before. A fleeting moment can inspire a lot of creativity. One of my aims this month was not to overwork a painting if it didn't turn out exactly as I had intended. This sky is definitely more luminous than I had in mind. But instead of spending hours overworking the same piece and potentially ruining a pretty cute little painting, I thought it was best to leave it as it was, to learn from that mistake and to try not to recreate the same issue in any future paintings. Although winter can be really beautiful, I definitely find more inspiration in the spring and the summertime when the sun is out. So by the end of this winter, I was really struggling to come up with new ideas for my paintings. Fortunately, I stumbled upon this lovely peaceful scene on a winter afternoon. I love the soft lighting and the lovely cool feel of the day so much that this actually inspired two paintings. The second of which I have a full time lapse which I'll share with you a little bit later on in this video. Butterflies are one of my favourite things and so it was inevitable at some point that I was going to end up painting them. I had to go back in the archives for these photos as they were taken during the summer time but they gave me a great opportunity to paint something that I love very much. I find watching butterflies incredibly peaceful, so I wanted to try and capture some of that atmosphere in these paintings. to 
try some landscapes during this month's project so I decided to paint this sunset from a late August evening last year. I did not make life easy for myself choosing such a challenging sky. <laughs> I went back to a simpler landscape for my next painting, but I found with both of these that it was difficult to match the colours and the lighting exactly to what it was really like on the day through painting from a photograph alone. I was up early enough last week to see a really beautiful sunrise, and although I like the video footage I got of it, it definitely doesn't recreate how lovely it actually was on the day. So I think it will be important in the future to try and paint from life on plein air. I purchased myself a new easel so that I'll be able to go and paint landscapes out in the field, which I'm really excited for. from this month and I think it's probably because it's one of the first times I was able to achieve a slightly looser feel with the painting. This is something I've been trying to do all month and haven't really been able to do it. Detail keeps creeping in but this time I felt like I was able to simplify it a little bit and not add quite as much detail. <laughs> For my next painting, my inspiration came from a lot closer to home. Usually when I take a photo of something I like, it remains buried on my phone amongst the many thousands of other photos that are already on there. So one thing I've really enjoyed about this process is creating a permanent reminder of those lovely moments. process. Because I was feeling a bit more confident, I decided to reattempt the swan painting from earlier in the month. I thought the reference photo was, was really lovely and it deserved a second attempt. I wanted to use this as an opportunity to be more creative, so the idea here was to increase the sparkle, create more of a backlit effect on the swan and to include some colours and some brush strokes that just weren't there in real life. I wanted to include the whole time lapse for this one, so barring a section which I forgot to film, here it is from start to finish.
I enjoyed being more creative and I feel like this painting had a slightly more dramatic feel as a result of it. I still like the first so I'd be interested to know which one you prefer. Um, once you've seen them please let me know in the comments if you have a favourite or any other comments that you have on the other paintings in this video as well. Throughout this month I feel like I've learned a lot from this project. The first thing was something that I think I probably already knew and that is the majority of my inspiration comes from being outdoors, the natural world, wildlife, landscapes and so I feel like I need to spend a lot more time outside doing the things that I love in order to be more creative and hopefully feel inspired to make a lot more paintings. The second point is that I definitely prefer a looser feel to my paintings, even if I don't always manage to achieve it. I really liked the looser brushwork in this one painting and I feel like it makes it a little bit more my own than the first one, if that makes any sense. <laughs> The third point is that I really like painting dramatic lighting. I didn't realise that until towards the end of this project, but that's something I'm definitely going to look out for in future references. With all those things in mind, I created this piece, which was the last one of the month. This was inspired by a day a couple of weeks ago where the weather could not decide what it wanted to do. And sometimes it was rainy and sometimes it was sunny. And this photo was taken in the middle of that where there's this lovely dramatic lighting effect in between the rain clouds. I really enjoyed the project of painting my own original paintings last month and so I definitely want to make time for myself to create new paintings like that in the future. I think a big thing for me next is going to be to paint more things outdoors with my new easel and go out and experience landscapes firsthand rather than painting from a photograph. It's something I've had a little bit of practice with already, so I took my easel out into the garden to paint a still life cactus, um, which actually started out indoors, so I could have done that inside. But it was lovely to be out in the sunshine. And as spring is arriving, I feel like this is a really great time to explore being outdoors and painting all the things that I love so much. much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please leave a like subscribe and comment and i will see you next time